Well, hello, hello, hello. It is the Huntsman Minion today from Bloodborne. And it is the big bricky boppy boys. They're the ones who just come over, run over, and just start smacking you around the head with a big old brick. And that's pretty much their strategy to killing you. This should be a relatively straightforward piece to do. So without further ado, let's crack on and paint the Huntsman Minion. A corpse should be left well alone. So to begin with, I'm going to Zenithal highlight him because I want to use some contrast on the cape and the hood, just so we can get a nice sort of contrast from the top to the bottom with little fuss. So to do that, I'm going to grab the airbrush and I'm going to grab some white ink and just drop it in. And from sort of top down angle, I'm going to be spraying on the Zenithal highlighting. So now that we've Zenithal highlighted, let's crack on and start painting this fella. So to begin with, I'm going to be using some Basilicanum Grey, which is a nice contrast paint, which has got sort of dark grey tones to it, which should react quite nicely to our Zenithal highlight job. And I'm going to be using this paint for the cape. So just getting a nice application of Basilicanum Grey to the cape. So there we are, we have our cape coated with some Basilicanum Grey. And it's reacting quite nicely to the zenithal highlight job that we've done. And we'll let that dry for a second. And while it's drying, we can move on and do the wraps that are on his torso. So to base the wraps, I'm going to be using some more of my favorite Zandri dust, which is a nice rope color. So just taking the Zandri dust and I'm just filling in all these little wraps that are around the torso here. Okay, so there's the first bit of Zendry Dust. I'm also gonna do the same to the wrist wraps and the wraps around the head. Alrighty, so there we are. That's our wraps painted in with some Zendry Dust. That is one fine wrapper. Next thing we need to do is paint in his trousers and just these little feet wraps that I've missed here. Now, looking at him, the trousers pretty much are the kind of the same color as the cape, but I think they'll be a bit boring for a mini. So I'm gonna have the trousers brown as if they were a sort of like leathery type thing. And there's only one thing for that, which is snake bite leather contrast paint. So I'm just gonna get a load of this and just get a first base coat on these trousers. There's our trousers painted in. Slowly coming together relatively nicely. So we're gonna let that dry for a moment. We'll move on to painting the skin. I'm gonna be basing the dark tones to Nightquester Flesh, which will be our kind of main base tone. And then we can start adding in some brighter, maybe some more reddish tints to it as well. And I'll kind of just be targeting the sort of like main shadowy areas of this fella. I'm basically just following the path laid out by the zenithal highlight. Okay, so there's all the shadowy parts of the skin painted in with night quest or flesh. So next up, I'm going to paint in the mid-tones. I'll do that with some rat skin flesh, I reckon for now, because I think Cajun flesh tone is just a tad too bright and you know healthy looking. Okay, so that's one arm with the rat skin flesh applied. Now what I probably will do before I move on is just apply the Cajun flesh tone just to sort of see how it works with those two colors already applied. So just on the sort of brighter points within the rat skin flesh. Just adding quite a thin layer of this stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of fan how that's coming out. So I'm just going to apply that to the rest of the skin, the feet, the other arm, and the face. So I've got the skin, I've got the skin painted in. We've got the face kind of highlighted up, skin going from the sort of darker tones in the middle out to the lighter tones. And I also went back through and sort of added a bit of like catacomb flesh. So what I think I will do 
is I'm just gonna paint in these straps on the face and then we can add a bit more detail to the straps all over. There we are. So before we move on to detailing all the sort of bits of the straps and adding a bit more definition to them, I'm just gonna paint in his hair. I'm gonna use some Black Legion contrast paint, thin it down so it's like a bit of a wash really. And then I'll just apply it to the hair on the top. So I'm gonna go and add on some Agrax Earthshade to all the straps, just to give them a bit of sort of, you know, weathering, I suppose you could call it. And also to just sort of bring these tones together a bit on the torso. Here we are, there's our straps, a bit more weathered. I need to paint in his little teeth. I'm gonna get some Corax White. Wonderful. So now what I wanna do is add some extra detail to the cape because the contrast did an okay job, but we need to add a bit more. So the first thing I want to do is just sort of go over with a black wash, a very much thinned down glaze of Abaddon Black, and then kind of just go in and detail in where the shadows are. Just kind of a broad application of this. Okay, so there we are with a bit of black washed over it. It's already looking a lot better because of it. So we'll do the same thing, but with brighter colors. And I'm gonna use some Celestra Gray and I'm gonna kind of edge highlight on these ridges here. the cape nicely edge highlighted. Definitely adds a fair bit. Brings it out nicely from the shadows and everything. So what we have left to do is pretty much just the brick. And then we can add in our beautiful blood splatters that I'm so fond of doing these days. So the brick be nice and easy. It's just a sort of gray brick. So I'm going to use some Dawnstone, which is just a lovely, lovely little dry paint. Take a lovely little dry brush and just dry brush that on. Wonderful. And to highlight, and I'm gonna use some long beard grey, which is basically like, I mean, it's pretty much a white dry paint. And I'm just gonna dust this on, making sure I'm basically just dusting it on facing the top, because that's where, you know, the light will be. Gorgeous. What an absolute beaut this fella is. Last but not least, let's grab some of this beautiful Flesh Terrace Red contrast paint, grab my sort of shader brush, and let's start making a mess. And just this little flicking motion, splat, splat. As if he's just smashed someone's head in. <laughs> All right, pop him down. Let's take a quick look at him. Ooh, come here, come here. One beautiful Huntsman minion. Huntsman minion, hunter's minion, huntsman's minion. Yeah, huntsman's minion. What a beautiful chap it is. So there we go. There is one more Bloodborne character done. Yeah, we are pretty much flying through these now. We're in a good rhythm of these Bloodborns. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm just gonna have a little quick tidy up. Yeah, thank you very much for joining me once again for another Bloodborne edition. I hope you enjoyed today's one. Not a lot more else to say other than... And that is Huntsman's Minion language, which directly translates to, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy today, please don't forget to leave this video a like, leave a comment if you feel so inclined to, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I will leave it there, and I will see you all for some more Bloodborne stuff next Sunday. Farewell, good hunters. Thank you very much once again, everyone, for joining me for this episode of Bloodborne Models. If you did enjoy today's episode, please don't forget to leave it a like, drop a comment, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next Sunday for more Bloodborne Models. But until then, peace out, gang, and don't you dare go hollow. <laughs>